Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. In this video, I'm going to create a compliance policy to disable Windows Hello for Business. So now let's get started. Here I'm at the device management.microsoft.com. So what you need to do is click on devices and then click on Windows. Click on configuration policy, uh, I'm sorry, config, configuration profiles. Here's all the policies I have for the configuration profiles. So to create a new one, click on create profile. Platform, I'm going to select Windows 10 or later. Profiles, it's going to be identity protection. Click on create. Let's give it a name. It's Windows. Let's call it um, Windows 10. Let's call it Windows Hello for business. Disable. The descriptions you can give um, information about the policy. Click on next. Okay, here it is. Configure Windows for a hello for business. You want to change it to disable. Since we are not enable Windows Hello for Business, we're going to leave this not configured. Click next. Assign to, you can assign to all users, all devices, or all user and all devices. Or you can select certain groups you want to deploy to. I'm going to select my test group. Let's type in Intune. IT Intune Testers. Click on Select. You can also exclude a group that you want to exclude from this policy. So I'm not going to exclude any group because I'm only including this group. So if you choose all devices, you can um, select the group you want to exclude. All right, click Next. Application rules. You can do uh, rules for assign profile if or do not assign profile is. Yes. Different versions of um, to save assign profile if OS versions equals certain things. So I'm not going to do this one. Click on delete. Click next. Going to click on create. So the profile has been created. If I go to properties, I can make changes here. I can change the groups or the targets. And if I look, want to see the status, see if any device received the policy yet. Not yet. It should take um, probably 15 to 30 minutes before you can um, see data here. Use this status for setting status. So that's it. That's how you disable Windows Hello for Business in Intune. Thank you for watching and have a great day.